morning 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 guys afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world today um, so this is the rug detective show coming to you straight from Europe so here we go um, so in the meantime if you haven't done so whatsoever please please make sure you follow me um, on um, rug detectives so detectives rug at at detectives rug on Twitter uh, make sure you follow like um, at rug detectives on YouTube we are building a huge community. Our ultimate aim is to provide you value, give you keep you updated what's happening in the in the markets from Bitcoin, from Ethereum, from altcoins, and essentially um, zoning in to identifying great opportunities in the market with uh, certain cryptocurrency projects, and also letting you know and being aware of certain scammers. Um, uh, individuals that are rug pulling that take advantage of the marketplace so we're really out there as the investigator as the trader as the investor really trying to help you provide you with value so let's get straight to it um, okay cool so here we are today so this is quite an interesting caption here in terms of the where the inception of, of Bitcoin whether where it started and where it is today in terms of the year the price and also the market value so you can see the inception of 2009 because you have to remember two days ago was the anniversary so uh, 2009 was the inception 2010 there was totally there was no bids whatsoever in the price 2011 it was at 31 cents imagine 31 cents 1.6 million market cap incredible um, and then moving forward it went all the way down went from five dollars uh, you can see that was more than a 10% increase, uh, sorry, a 10x, so a thousand percent increase in the price over within a year. And then, you know, it more or less nearly tripled the following year to $13, 102 And then it continued. You can see there was a dip from 2014 to 2015 where it was $784, crashed to $315. Um, and then that was at a $3 billion market cap. And then it slowly started to gradually increase where 2017, the huge, um, let's say, demand, the hype in the market took it from 1,000 to 14,000 um, point six to two, from 10 to 250 billion market cap. Um, and then there was a huge drop from 14.6 to 3.9 um, thousand, so 3,900. Um, and then we saw it close to double a year later and then now we're sitting at 2021 the halving was last year and now we're sitting at 34,000 well what's lower than that at the moment it's about 30,000 currently so this just shows you that this is a long term hold guys this is not something where you want to be in and out of the positions and trying to to scalp trades or try to buy low and sell high you know it's impossible to try and catch it and be be correct all the time so the best thing to do as you can see in terms of this correlation is that yes there's going to be dips there's going to be troughs but long term if you hold you're going to see a gradual increase and this is where the compounding effect comes from okay so this is as they say it's a rocket absolutely rocket ship going to the moon going to mars wherever it's going to but it's flying there's even targets that at the end of this year we could hit like a hundred thousand whether it does or does or does not it doesn't really matter because within the next five to ten years i can see that this price will be hitting one million dollars per bitcoin it may take 10 years i don't know but this is the long-term aspiration and target so that's where we are uh, let's take a look at the price so here we are btc this is a daily time frame right now i'm looking, using trading view for this chart um, we will be coming out just to let you know with um, an educational class a, a, a basic class on educating from a technical analysis point of view so keep uh, if you're interested let me know send me a comment um, send me a message let me know if you're interested in that and we'll also be coming out with an advanced class as well uh, just to give you some interesting concepts of what you need to be aware of so if you take a look at the BTC right now, there was a huge move to the upside. It tested $35,000 per BTC, as I stated, and then there was a, a sharp pullback in the price. That sharp pullback in the price tested 27,000, around 28,000 level. It slammed right bang into the support trend line I had in place and, and confirmed to you earlier. 
and then it, it closed around 32,000, but yesterday, it, uh, and then the open has now dipped lower, tested about 29,000. So I actually see that this market will probably just start to drip lower, maybe to around the 28,000 um, level, where it may, may start to move sideways between the 28,000, could go actually below that. I do have a mid-term support line lower support line around the 20 21,000 level there's another around the 14 so you have to be aware of this and this is why i say to people do not have huge leverage because you know in the space of a day it went from 30 was it 34,000 24 35,000 all the way down to 27 so this is nearly a ten thousand dollar move per btc it's extremely volatile so you need to be aware and that means that you need to be aware that this price can actually get down to 20. It can get down to the previous highs um, that we had in place here, the 20, 19,500 level. And it doesn't mean if it gets down there that the overall long-term opportunity is bearish. No, it just means that people are you know, taking their profits off the table, reassessing the position, now looking for an opportunity to move higher. So that's just something to be aware of. I just see this accumulation stage taking place, maybe a pullback. And then we should see within the end of the first quarter continued move higher. So that's that. Then let's take a look at ETH. So Ethereum basically was grinding higher until we got to this 24th, so around Christmas, it then moved from 500 all the way up to 1,100, so more than doubled in that space. We did have a previous resistance around 840 level. It broke through that. Then there was another resistance line we had at around the 1,000 mark, which coincided with the previous resistance here in the price. Uh, and then it broke through that but what you found is it actually closed above the 1000 level slightly, but there was an upper wick. So these are like upper wicks in price, but it failed to continue the move. And now the market is trading just on this 1000 level, which is acting as a quite an interesting support now, which is very, very good. I do see that we probably would get a retracement back to the previous high, which is the $850 level. It could break that and test the this upward trend line of 700 uh, price point, but just something to be aware of. RSI's is still overbought, so it's extremely expensive right now. Stochastics is expensive, so just something to, to keep a look out and know what's happening in this space. Um, but but long-term, you know, I do believe long-term that within this quarter, it would test the previous high of this 1400, 1500 level, and then we'll see how the market action dictates and in terms obviously the fundamental side as well so and that's that so um let's also add to this xrp um, we've heard obviously a lot of news that's happening with xrp in terms of the sec investigation that's taking place the filing a lawsuit so um and this could be criminal so this is, you know, once that news came out, XRP basically was around 0 0.79 cents. And then when was that? That was the 21st of November. A few months later now, it tested lows of about 17 cents. So it's absolutely collapsed in price. Doesn't seem to be any buyers whatsoever in the place, in, in, in the market at the moment. You see that it's basically hovering around the previous um, let's say range bound levels where it was around early January 2020 uh, and then we're going to obviously see the outcome of that in that space so I just want to give us an update some news uh, CNBC is basically noting that BTC is breaking records because you know larger institutional big investors are, are buying into it now and what you're seeing here from PwC Price Water Coopers you know one of the largest uh, accountancy firms uh, essentially saying that uh, was partly due to entry of more big institutional investors into the market so that was the hence the reason for the, the the push that took place and they also saying when you look uh, at this bitcoin rally 
that we have seen in the last couple of weeks, months, really there's two big elements driving it. One is the continuous entry of institutional players, um, as he stated, and um, also he says that well-known Wall Street's analysts said that endorsements gave confidence to otherwise skeptical mainstream investors. So I think the one huge opportunity in the foundation was Paul Tudor Joe's well-known known hedge fund guy and Stanley Druckenmiller basically supported the space they got involved they you know they put their money on the line and then we had in addition to that large financial companies the PayPal's the squares the micro strategies of the world that really said listen we're going to back this we're going to support this we're going to push this so hence the reason there, there was a thereafter a flurry of other people you know high, high net worth individuals that said yeah this is opportunity to get in now and that took the price from 10,000 all the way up to 35,000 so we'll trade them out 31 at the moment then um, JP Morgan uh, yeah, imagine that imagine a, a, a institutional bank basically saying that you know giving commentary about BTC wow imagine where we were literally you know 10 11 years ago and now to today it's absolutely phenomenal the the, the rise the the reputation the awareness that's taken place so they're basically stating that the BTC could stage a monster rally in 2021 and reach a hundred thousand dollars per BTC um, but they're saying but pricing at that level would prove unsustainable um, we believe they believe that the valuation and position backdrop has become a lot more challenging for BTC at the beginning of the new year as its market cap 5575 billion BTC would have to surge to 146 to match the total private sector investment in gold. So they're saying that there's an opportunity, but at those price points of 100,000, it would be unsustainable. Well, we'll soon see about that. They've been saying that when it was like at 5,000, is unsustainable. So, you know, look where we are today. So that's just something to be aware of. They're saying that it is thus unrealistic to expect that the allocations to BTC by institutional investors would match those of gold. We clearly understand that gold is a mainstay and, and we're not going to see that it's going to match that spe those specific levels within the year, the next two years. But I do believe within a 10 year level, there's going to be this flight to safety. There's going to be the continued devaluation of the dollar of currencies, a, a certain way for people to diversify, you know, then there's, you know, with the emergence of, let's just say, the, the Internet, um, e-commerce, opportunities for people to be able to make payments instead of using dollars online for, for products this is where everything's moving to so whether they like it or not they need to jump on board and take advantage so that's where we are with with um, jp morgan then we've got some news regarding uh, from news btc they basically mentioned here seller setup triggers on eth following monster 50 percent two-day surge so there's a huge surge as i as i mentioned and now what they're saying that um, although it's hard to argue 2028 was the year of BTC, Ethereum has outperformed the top cryptocurrency by a sizable margin. And they're saying that 2021 already looks as if an in-core performance is coming. And I do believe that. I do believe that ETH is going to be the outlier. I believe that net net in terms of the returns is going to be a, it's going to show a higher ROI for 2021, <clears throat> especially with. ETH 2.0, um, that the layout to, you know, everything that's happening is moving in the space. The one concern is just in terms of the gas prices, adoption will occur when there's opportunities and less friction for um, for investors, for traders. So they do need to look at these areas in terms of uh, congestion in, in transactions, the prices, the high prices. So these are things to be aware of. Um, so they said, could the once flawless sell setup fail again as it did with BTC? So they're saying that um, on daily time frames, it's lit with a nine sell setup. Um, so they're saying um, demand spawn perfectly predicted 2017, 2019 tops along December 2018. Um, and now they're saying that, that the, the top crypto assets trend would fizzle out in December. Not only was it an incorrect call, but BTC added another 10,000. So, you know, we hear a lot of these models that say this is the call. I don't know any as of yet that has been 100% correct. 
So that's where we are with that. To give you some more piece of news, Ethereum price analysis, ETH bulls ignore overbought RSI to attack 1000. I did mention in the price earlier that the price on Ethereum is overbought and you need to be aware of that, okay? So I wouldn't be looking at adding any entries at the moment. I'll be looking for the price to be able to pull back to the 700, 800 levels and then see the reaction from a fundamental aspect before looking at taking any opportunities. Okay, so let's move on to um, to XRP. So class action alleges Coinbase acted unlawfully and fraudulently in listing XRP. So now this you know, lawsuits from, from exchanges to the company to it's, it's actually getting very messy. So now the same Coinbase user has initiated a class action lawsuit against uh, the, against the exchange seeking recovery for customers who paid commissions for XRP trading. It claims that Coinbase's actions in making XRP available for trading violated California's unfair competition laws and that um, the exchange was aware XRP constituted an unregistered security rather than a commodity due to asset. Um, so basically it says the suit follows expected SEC action. So we're obviously waiting for the action. The, the class action follows the US SEC advice that it plans to bring its own action against XRP to creators Ripple Labs and two of its senior executives in response exchanges such as Coinbase, OKCoin have announced that they will suspend. So immediately when they heard about this action, they announced that they're going to suspend trading and then hence why we saw this price, huge drop. So we're waiting to see what actually happens, but this is the current situation. Uh, where we stand and in addition to that um, is known that some of the BTC BSV community are seeking to prove in court that only BSV is Bitcoin so obviously more um, other uh, BSV and other tokens are now coming out and just saying that you know in essence there's some other issues that's taking place in terms of exchanges so this is extremely messy I would definitely not be getting involved whatsoever in this from a from a, a buy from a short an opportunity sit on the sidelines look for other opportunities and then you can see here's a continuation sec charges ripple and two executives with conducting 1.3 1.3 billion unregistered securities offering so that's absolutely incredible that's taking place so you can be able to read information that they announced today that it filed an action that they raised um, that they raised over 1.3 through an unregistered ongoing digital asset. So this is going to be, there's going to be fraudulent criminal, someone's going to jail, that's for sure. So bad situation that's taking place here. Um, so now I want to just have a quick look at some other um, projects just to see in general where we are. So in terms of our BTC market cap is um, currently it stands out 576 and you can actually see the dominance interesting dominance of 67 um, 67.2 percent in terms of the market cap 576 billion at the moment market cap ETH is 115 billion tether XRP dramatically now starting to drop at about 10 million Litecoin is very close to overtaking that spot we've got polka dot as we mentioned yesterday in terms of the new um, let's say blockchains, Polkadot, Cosmos, you know, Polkadot, Pol Polkadot is, is interesting now looking to, it's gone up seven days, 40%. So we'll be competing with the Ethereum very, very soon. Um, just want to give you an update in terms of um, COVA protocol. And this was the insurance DeFi that took place. There was a hack that actually happened. So price essentially uh, collapsed. Um, I'll just even show you if we have this. So, so I alluded to this in one of my posts on Twitter. So let's just find it.
Okay, so this was the exploit I update, 28th of December update to cover protocol um, exploit. Said that uh, Grab Finance, who found the exploit, sent the funds back. And then obviously they say it wasn't a rug pull, but there's a huge exploit. Price literally collapsed and from the levels of, what was it, $938. And now it's at $1.50. They basically came out with some news and told people not to buy. And then now there was a snapshot prior. They took a snapshot prior to this. Uh, exploit and then with there's now an update that came out that which was literally three hours ago early this morning that they're now converting the old one cover old for one cover new um, and this please refer to the conversation plan in the median post regarding the snapshot so there's a breakdown of the snapshot Let's see what they actually say. So the conversation plan, the snapshot will be taken at block this number before the first major exploited mint. So just for, for those that are actually got involved that had a positions and cover, please uh, take note of this specific document. And then uh, just giving more details in terms of for the liquidity providers and the LP. So it's extremely messy. So. For those that actually got into trades after the snapshot, they wouldn't, you will not be compensated. And obviously within their Telegram, they're going absolutely crazy right now. And it's pretty fair. If you go to their Telegram, you can actually see more information in terms of that. So they say new cover was listed on coin market cap. And they're saying how can a delist is not even listed. So there's still a lot of questions people are asking like, really confused in a way with the whole situation but those that actually entered um, after that snapshot would not be compensated so very sad situation um, and we'll soon see what happens in terms of the price oh you can see this let's just click on this this could actually be the new something okay need to be aware and cross check whether this is actually the new cover protocol or not governance or could be a fake so i need to cross check that just to give you a heads up but it shows that it's like this morning it seems to be listed so i'll confirm that with you shortly whether this is the right contract okay um and so let's go to rug detective so this is the checklist we've been working on what we'll be doing we'll be going through i'm actually going to be doing some a pure a breakdown a video analysis of all these different steps that I take in terms of looking for opportunities in the space and looking for scams as well um, and then I'll be adding links to this and I'll be providing this checklist um, hopefully by the end of the week by the weekend then this shows and also there's information in terms of as from an auditor aspect what one would need to go through to take a look at then I've actually outlined all of the scam projects that we've identified since we since our inception <laughs> um, so it's been quite quite a few and then um, also i would also be adding here another tab of opportunities that i'll be looking at opportunities that i'll be getting into myself and uh, just providing you know my own personal recommendations not suggestions for you to get into those trades but these are the opportunities i'm looking at based on the checklist and then we'll also be doing a um, a technical analysis course uh, basic immediate, immediate intermediate advanced so really just trying to provide value and help so if you have any if there are any projects you're looking at that you would like to have an audit um, kindly send me a message let me know if there are areas that you want to work on or, or talk about send me by the comment so please do not forget to like subscribe comment on YouTube at rug detectives and also on on Twitter at uh, Detective Rug, and I will speak to you soon. Take care.